The story of Lemon Hope is tragic. I mean, at times he can be a selfish jerk, but at the same time, I can't help but feel bad for the guy. I mean, at the end of the day, he didn't ask to be saved. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's dive into this wild ride where we'll see him transform from a dude who's just unsure of himself to kind of a wise guy who knows what freedom is really all about. Alrighty, first up, let's chat about Lemon Hope's roots before he gets busted out of Castle Lemon Grab. He's your typical lemon citizen, tortured by his tyrant Lemon Grab. He just loves playing the harp, but something's different. He's actually good at what he plays, unlike all the other citizens. So, with the help of Princess Bubblegum and Lemon citizens, they break Lemon Hope out of Castle Lemon Grab. Now Lemon Hope's chilling in the Candy Kingdom, a place full of sugary goodness. But our lemony friend ain't all smiles, cause he's got this massive weight on his shoulders from the Lemon Peeps and Princess Bubblegum. Our bro's gotta learn the hero stuff, but he's itching to explore the great wide world. He's all tangled up inside, wanting to break free, but also feeling like he's gotta do right by his people. So, PB takes Lemon Hope to see the mess at Castle Lemon Grab. And our guy makes a big old decision. He sneaks out and boards a pirate ship, thinking he's finally gonna find his freedom. But there's a whole bunch of bumps in the road ahead, my friends. In the meantime, though, Lemon Hope's loving his pirate adventure, feeling the wind in his hair and the salty sea breeze. But fate's got other plans, and our boy ends up stranded in the desert with nothing but its past and his guilt keeping him company. As he treks through the sandy wasteland, he's all sorts of tested. Just when he's about to give up, he meets Flannel Boxing Day, a wise old dude who's got adventures in his bones. They set off together on monster hunting escapades and treasure finding missions, but Lemon Hope can't shake his nightmares, and Flannel's wise words get him thinking. He realizes that the only way he'll be truly free is by fulfilling his destiny and saving his people. So, our lemony hero decides it's time to face his fate in Emperor Lemon Grab. He goes back to the castle, and with the power of his harp, makes that tyrant go kaboom, free in his bros and earn his own freedom. With his peeps saved, Lemon Hope can finally live his life without a heavy heart. He explores the world, taking on every adventure he can. Eventually, he returns to the now empty Cannon Kingdom in Castle Lemon Grab, ready to rest after a lifetime of freedom. Lemon Hope's tale is a wicked ride through the struggle between what we want and the responsibilities we've got. Across this two-parter, we see Lemon Hope hustling to find his own way, buttoned heads with the expectations others put on him. A big old theme in his story is freedom, and how it's all tangled up with responsibility. Lemon Hope, after dealing with some major bad advice from the Lemon Grabs, is stuck with everyone thinking he's gonna save his people, while he's all about being free from that nastiness. The pressure to live up to his destiny is a heavy load. This showdown plays out in his dreams, which are like trippy windows into his inner chaos. In his dreams, Lemon Hope faces off with the not so black and white choices he's gotta make and the guilt of bailing on his people. These scenes are like super eye-catching and deep, going into the nitty gritty of Lemon Hope's character. The gray stuff around him shows the moral mess he's in, while the knocking at his door is like the non-stop push to do his duty. Throughout the story, Lemon Hope's selfish side isn't painted as a bad thing, but more like a normal reaction to the huge burden on him. His hangouts with Flannel Boxing Day, a mysterious dude who might be tight with Princess Bubblegum, you never know, help Lemon Hope grow and get a grip on freedom. Flannel being there, whether he's real or just in Lemon Hope's head, it's Lemon Hope to see that freedom doesn't mean flying solo. This light bulb moment is huge because it makes Lemon Hope decide to head back to Castle Lemon Grab and save his peeps. But don't forget, he does it his way, showing he's all about being free. Lemon Hope's story really hits home, that there's no one-size-fits-all hero. While Finn the Human's your classic hero, Lemon Hope's journey shows there are tons of ways to be a hero. By saving his people, even if it's just because he wants to, Lemon Hope finds that sweet spot between freedom and duty. In the end, Lemon Hope's actions leave a mark on the land of Oob, like in the glimpses of the future during Princess Bubblegum's tune. Even though he didn't want to be a hero, Lemon Hope's legacy is just that. It's a reminder that sometimes expectations can be too much, and it's key to know and accept our own limits. To wrap it up, Lemon Hope's tale is a killer look at what we want, responsibility, and the many faces of heroes. It might not be a perfect episode, but it nails breaking the mold and diving into the wild ride of being human, showing off the experimental storytelling Adventure Time is known for. But that's my overall take on it and some of the research that I did for these two episodes. Obviously, everyone has their own opinion, so please let me know down in the comments below. I try to read every single one of them. I really do appreciate all the support recently, but please like and subscribe. It helps so much. But as always, stay adventurous.